Hello people, it's Joe All Leeds TV and it is time for your Fulham versus Leeds post-match chat. As you'll all be aware, of course, Leeds United's winning or undefeated streak has come to an end. 11 games, 8 wins within that time has come to an end down at Craven Cottage against Fulham. Um, yeah, I mean, look, I think we deserved something from the game. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we deserved at least a point. Um, you know, I think the game itself was was a bit stop start. The penalty was an absolute joke. Of course, you know the the ref, um, Mister Mister Robinson, um, absolute joke of a performance from the referee. Um, it was so stop start. Um, you know, time wasting galore as you'd expect. Seemed to stop though, seemed to stop when we were at one all and then all of a sudden it was allowed to go again once Fulham had taken the lead. Um, and I mean, that, that penalty, we'll touch on it, it's an absolute joke. It, even watching it back, I mean, in, even Andrea Radrazani's, you know, tweeted out, someone's clipped the, the image on Twitter and, and shed, you know, absolute stonewall. And when you watch it back, it's even worse than when you see it in real time. Oh, it's so bad. I mean, he just falls to the floor. There's hardly any push whatsoever from Ben White, if any at all. You know, it's just jockeying at the end of the day. And he gives a penalty. And, you know, Kiko was unlucky. He did get a hand to it. But Mitrovic in that position is always going to put it in the back of the net. Um, you know, I just, I, I think for me, we deserved a point. I thought we were much better in the first half. Like I said, second half wasn't great for me. Um, I did think that we would come on. Uh, as you'd expect, you know, a lot of teams tire under the, the constant threat of Leeds United. But with it being so stop-start for me, you know, Fulham didn't look like they were going to quell towards the end. Um, and, and of course, Tim Robinson, for me, ruined the game, uh, as, as, as is always the case, it seems, uh, with the standard of refereeing in this division. Um, we Look, it feels shit, I'm not going to lie. You know, the unbeaten run is over. I forgot what it's like to lose, genuinely. Um, but it's game on now. It's game on, isn't it? I mean, prior to Cardiff, we were, we were riding the crest of the wave. And we've we've had a bit of shock of reality. And not getting into this all falling apart, all that sort of jazz. Let's calm down. We've still got nine points over third. But it has given us a shot in the arm to say, you know what? It's far from over. You know, it is far from over. And we need to be aware of that, you know. Um, but it's game on now. Massive game on Boxing Day against Preston North End. You know, what more do you want as a football fan? Let's bring it on. Let's get all three points and let's go again. You know, um, it, we're not going to win every game. We know that Fulham are a decent side. Decent individuals. They played all right today. You know, all this tosh about Scott Parker saying, you know, we, 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 you know, create tax in a certain way. Yes, we do. I understand it was scripted, etc., etc. But come on, don't make out you've done, come out with some master plan. As so many managers tend to do whenever they get one over leads on BLs. You know, unfortunate. You know, Pablo going down a few minutes into the game. Looks like a hammy major blow. Do you know what I mean? You know, you, you can't script that. Mr. Parker, getting a soft penalty, you can't script that, Mr. Parker, so don't give me that tosh. Look, we started the game decent, you know, there was an effort from Costa early door, and then, of course, the, the magic man, Pablo, goes down and is subbed by Alioski. Um, I thought Alioski was a bit shaky in the first half, short passing game, wasn't really on, but it's a major blow losing Pablo, you know, I've just had a message from a fan there who's, you know, Rob, uh, a good friend of mine telling me, you know, early reports are saying six to eight weeks, that'd be huge, that would be absolutely huge, so pray for Pablo and hope that isn't the case. Um, it did look like he's hammy though, and it, it's never a good sign. Um, and then, of course, not long after, it's the pen. I mean, it, it, it's it's an absolute joke. Uh, Mitrovic puts it back in. Um, you know, there's one on 10 minutes, if you watch the game. The one on 10 minutes where Ben White made a challenge on the edge of our box is more of a pen than what the penalty is. Genuinely. And I start to think when I watch the game, had he have not given the first pen, he probably would have given that in any way. So we were always on a hiding to nothing from the ref, Tim Robinson. I know it sounds like a bit of a ref bashing, but ultimately we weren't good enough today. You know, I accept that fact. Um, around about 22 minutes, Dallas had a couple of, uh, a couple of efforts at goal, moved into a central midfield position. I know not a lot of people might not like him there, but I think Dallas, I just rate him. I love him. He's my player of the season. I thought he did well in there. Um, um, 
he, yeah, he, he has a good chance and it's a, a decent save from the keeper. And then I think in the in the same phase of play, KP picks it up and, and plays a decent ball out to the left hand side, uh, and it's put in uh, into Harrison's path, who who plays in Dallas, and I think it's Dallas that hits the post. I've seen the YEP say click, and it sort of made me check myself, but I'm almost certain it was Dallas. Um, and we were unlucky in that stage, you know. Uh, and then, of course, just just before half time, Bamford for me has a really good chance at goal. Should do better. He's done the hard part. It's a lovely ball across. He chests it down. He's done the hard part. That was the hard part, and he, it's just such a tame effort, and it's straight into the keeper. Um, and it was a little bit poor. I thought just on that as well because I did when I'm making my notes in the early stages think, oh, this is going to be some battle between KP and Kenny. Didn't turn out that way, but I do think KP was a little bit lacklustre in this game for me. I don't know what your opinion are, you know, is on that, and please let me know. Um, look, first half it wasn't great by any stretch of the uh, imagination best chances had come Leeds way there was a couple for Dallas there was one for Bamford and at times for me Fulham were just lumping it long you know um, maybe maybe um, Parker had taken some of what Cardiff offered and, and decided to go that route but it was just so stop start throughout and the penalty of course was laughable um, and then the second half came around obviously Eddie had come on I think Costa had picked up a yellow um, and, and, and Eddie came on and for me he looked lively today he looked decent he looked about the pitch he put himself around and of, of course he was involved in the goal it's some decent work from Alioski plays in Eddie on the half turn first you know shot at goal um, and that that's what he can offer, you know what I mean? He, he, he's, he's prime for goals, right? So even when he makes a decent effort that might look like a snapshot, the keeper's always going to have to make a save. He does, and it goes straight into Bamford's path, and it's ones apiece. I did think it would be 2-1. I backed 2-1. I've started backing my predictions now. <laughs> Maybe that's why we lost it. Um, but yeah, um, I, I thought at that point, OK, come on, Leeds now. We're back in the game. Um no, not long after that though, Cavalero was allowed to just run into the centre of the pitch and have an effort at goal. It was a good save from Kiko. For Kiko again, made some decent saves during the game. There was a re relentless pace. It felt like in that second half from both sides, real end-to-end -end stuff, and it just shows for me that there was a lack of control from Leeds United because that normally doesn't happen in our football matches. You know what I mean? It, it genuinely was that. And then of course on 68 minutes a corner, and you know what? I, we did well initially uh, to get to you know, originally deal with it. I think it's Ben White with Mitrovic, possibly. And it, it, it just falls to Onoma. It, it, there's not much you can do in that scenario. And to be fair, he's had a good strike at goal and it's, great, you know, gone in the back of the net. Um, we then see Stevens comes on for Ailing. Does that show a little bit of a lack of depth? Obviously, we're missing the likes of Roberts, Shackleton, now Pablo, of course, for sure. I've seen a lot of people say, let's dip into the January window, etc., etc. Let's not get too carried away. It is only one loss out of 12. You know what I mean? Out of 12. Um, but Stevens, I've seen it against Stoke last season when he came on. Does that show like a depth? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. Do we need to go again in January? I know a lot of you will, will think so. Um, and then, and then of course, on 78th minute, like there's just the most weird thing happens. For some reason, Mr. Robinson decides to give Leeds a drop ball. Like, I don't understand it. I was watching the LU TV, and I'm sure Bryn Law said, the referee had said, it's your time you're wasting. Well, like, well, what's the drop ball for? Like, what even is that? Do you know what I mean? It just, it still perplexes me now. Please tell me what happened in that phase of play, because Leeds didn't want it pulling back for a start. And then when we did, KP's like, what, what's going on? I don't understand. He made click move it back and then was like arguing with KP. And then instead of KP, put, he picked it up and just dropped it and then allowed him to play. Come on, man, have a day off. It was an absolute shocker of a referee performance for me. And then, of course, 90th minute comes. It's all stop start. There's chances for both sides. But 90th minute, click has an effort at goal. It's pretty tame. It's, I think... The keeper would have had it, in all honesty, but it's a defender that clears it out of the way. Um, and it's a cutback from Harrison for that one. Harrison being involved when we did have opportunities. Uh, there was the Alioski chance late on as well, where he tried a bit of a worldy strike that went high and over. And then there was one late on when Mitrovic somehow uh, managed to clear it over. Um, and, and, and it wasn't to be for Leeds United, but you take it on the chin. You know what I mean? You can't win every game. We look ahead to Boxing Day now. Uh, and of course, a massive game against Preston North End. A massive game. You know, West Brom dropped points. Chef Wednesday could win tomorrow and reduce the gap to eight, but it's still a cushion. It's still a cushion. 
but we can't rely on that cushion and think, you know what, it's a nine points. Connor was chatting in the group, chatting, he's bang on, you know, it's, it's like a carbon copy of last season. Um, but, you know, fingers crossed we'll get it right. You know, it is, like I say, uh, a draw and a loss and we're all, we're all on the floor. And it shows how far we've come, but it's still not acceptable. We still should be winning games. We still should be winning games. The, the gap should be growing, not reducing. But it's the championship. We all know what it's about. But a bit of perspective, you know. 11 undefeated, it's some run. It is some run. Eight wins during that time. Some difficult opposition as well. Um, and it just continues in that vein now. You know, we've got Preston, Birmingham, then West Brom. I said to you as pre-match, if we can pick up nine, if we can pick up 12, you know, 10, 12, that's not going to happen now. But let's aim for nine. You know, let's get maximum from these next two ahead of West Brom. Uh, and that's what we really need to get. Um, look, I've seen it on Twitter. It was retweeted by the square ball. And I think this is what I'll leave you with because I think it's perfect. Um, someone had said, look, if you told me at Christmas that we were going to be nine points clear of third, I'd have snapped your hand off. And you've got to ask yourself, regardless of how these results are going, we are sitting in a decent position. Let's get back to winning ways on Boxing Day. Let's continue to, to you know... Just be brilliant. Just be Leeds United. I'm waffling now. I'm going to leave you there. But thank you so much for tuning in. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I will see you on Sunday for Sunday Night Live. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds.